Hello everybody, I'm Danny S. Hodges. Today I got you a good video. Now, do you remember the all-in-one TV antenna I made? That's it right there. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I put together a kit to make the all-in-one. I call it the Mega Pack. It comes with the two jumpers. It comes with the RCA booster that you need uh, for two antennas. And let me show you. That's what this is right here. See this balance right here? And there's a balance right here. That's a two-piece right there. And here is the VHF add-on. You can get it. You can get this right here in a total mega pack that I got on the e-store. Or I got it where you can just buy just this the VHF kit. Uh, the, I got this figure just right so it it can fit on the ultimate antenna. Because uh, you might already have the ultimate antenna. In the paper here, don't worry about that. That's just the recipe. And this is the pattern. See, I got it wrote on there. But I got you a good video to watch. It tells you everything that you need to know to put this all in one mega pack together and I'll have a link for the VHF add-on and I'll have a link for the mega pack in the description and in the comments these jumpers are custom made for the all-in-one TV antenna that means they both come down and come to about the same spot down here to go into the booster if you hadn't got the ultimate antenna you can get all this in one pack. If you already got the ultimate antenna, you can get just this VHF add-on and add it to your antenna. And also, later on in the video, I'm going to show you the one antenna that's about equal to the ultimate antenna, signal-wise. And y'all know I'm always telling a lot of basic knowledge. So I'm going to be telling you a bunch of stuff on this video. Alright y'all, enjoy the video. Hello everybody, this is how to add on your VHF add-on that I made for the Ultimate Antenna. Now, if you buy a brand new Ultimate Antenna, it'll come like this. You have to take these zip ties right here. And this reflector goes up, up here. I'm going to take you down here and show you this. So, take your reflector off. And just lay it to the side for, for, for right now. And you see this right here? This is the top. And this comes with two screws, a screw in each end, but I just got one in there. So I'm going to take this screw out. And uh, lay your two screws to the side. And this is how the VHF add on comes. Here's your wire right here. It comes in a roll like to keep the prize down. And uh, what I'm going to do, and I do got this transformer soldered to the whiskers here. So that way you won't never have no trouble. Now I thought of something. Take your marker and mark where that went. And I got this fixed just right to go in the spot. It's just the right distance that it needs to be. So, so I'm gonna put this in place where it goes and I'm gonna hold my drill at an angle right here. Okay, then I'm gonna take this and turn it over. And I'm gonna take the second screw and I'm gonna put it right here. Alright, see that? And now I'm gonna take these, let me get my let me get my bit. I'm gonna unloosen these some. Uh, this one right over here is pretty tight. And I'm gonna make them straight. And uh 
You can put it about as tight as you want. I didn't put it very tight. You can always come out and tighten it up later, you know. And I'll go ahead and tighten that up soon. Okay. So now that you got that, take your antenna, flip it over, and this comes in a roll. When you unroll it, it'll, you take it, take a hammer, flatten it out some, hang it over the edge of something. And being half of this down, you can do it with a hammer. I do them all the time. I got a break, but I still do this sometimes, like when I'm just in a hurry and don't want to walk around there to the break. So now, I'm going to get my reflector back out, my big reflector, I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to put this, put the curved part, put it to the top, and uh, let's see, I usually, yeah, I put it on, t I usually put this on top, and I usually lined up the squares, and make sure you got this center. Okay, I went ahead and put one screw in it just so it'd be still for the filming. But I'm going to go right here in this corner. And I see in these screws. These screws right here, they come with the ultimate antenna. And then I'm going to jump to this side of the square right here. And this screw's going all the way through into the main piece right here. Y'all, I've been doing it like this right here since day one. And I have never had no trouble. And right here, I'm going to skip to the other side. So see how I got this done here? I put this screw in this corner and then I went up and put this in the other corner and I got it staggered like that all the way. Then you just take this piece and what I'm doing is I'm putting it centered up of my VHF whisker. So uh, make sure I got that center. But I just put going to put these in here just like to help hold it. Especially for like the camera. Okay, and then see where this is? This is where you want to put the long screws right here. So, uh, I'll put one right here in this corner. And then I'll go up a little ways. I want to catch this right here. So I'll go up a little ways. And put that in the opposite corner. Look at that, how that's soldered on there. How the transformer soldered on. And it is here too. And that's what makes an antenna last a long time. When you have the VHF add on like this right here, you got to have a combiner or either like a booster. And see this one right here. Let me see to show you the back up. See how it comes with two? That's a VHF and VHF. But I have to take a little rubber garment off right here. And if you're using a two-piece antenna, and that's what this is, you have to take a little rubber garment off and switch the switch. Or if you don't need a booster, you can get a combiner. You might not need a booster. But you can get a combiner, and a combiner is not a splitter. It looks like a splitter, but it's not a splitter. A combiner has got the separate UHF and VHF, and it brings it all together. I went in there and looked at the footage, and I figured I'd come in here and show y'all a little bit of bonus footage for some of the beginners out there. And y'all, I started out doing this right here about probably about six or seven years ago, 
but I had people wanting to buy it, so I figured out how to put it on eBay. But I want to show you this right here. Here is that rubber garment right here. Yeah, now there's one right here that says FM Trap, and here's the little rubber garment right here. And when you take that rubber garment off, there's a little switch in there. And it says right here, uh, common or uh, VHF, UHF separate. And it's showing errors which way to point it. So see, you can use this right here for just a, a, a one piece. But you won't be using this and, and, and it comes on common. I used to check them. I don't even check them no more because they're always on common. But, uh, and I got some little caps that I usually cap these off, like, uh, uh, because I use this booster right here a lot, uh, in my antenna putting up, putting ups around here. But, uh, and Channel Master, you know, this is an RCA, but Channel Master makes some like this right here, and they probably others. But these, this booster right here, I know you want one that'll make your signal strength go up. All the boosters that I talk about on YouTube, they all the ones I'm talking about, they make the signal strength go up. And this is a two-piece. And uh, this is a used one I got. And it's a two-piece. And your, uh, your two antenna pieces come in here. And then this goes down your pole. Your coax goes into the back of this and screws on right here. And then this part goes into the TV. And uh, I, I get, I'm going to tell you this because I get a lot of people ask me, can you hook up more than one TV? Yeah, you would put a splitter right here for as many TVs as you want, just a regular splitter. And you can go to as many TVs as you want and you can watch something different on every channel. Now I'm going to show you a little bit more about the antenna. This antenna right here is made out of copper. And all these are soldered on. So see, this antenna won't never lose contact with one of the elements. If an element loses contact with the rest of the antenna, and I'm talking about any antenna they make, it, uh, it'll mess it up. Now I didn't see it. But this is with any antenna. If it loses connection, you know them, them store bought that, that you buy that's got the little flip with rivets and all that? You've got to watch out for that. These right here is soldered very heavy duty. And I've been doing it a while, and I done sold a bunch of them. And I, I ain't never had nobody that told me one of these broke. But when you, when you put your coax into this pull this cap off you want to put dielectric grease in there and also I use some I use a little liquid called liquid tape and once I put my dielectric grease in there I put the liquid tape in there because you don't want no water to get into that antenna now this antenna will last forever but if water gets into to that coax it'll It'll mess it up, and you won't know what happened because it won't completely knock it out, but it'll knock some of the weaker stations out. All right, I'm going to show you this. You want to make sure all these is flat, and this is four and a half. This is the magic number. So before you put your antenna up, uh, you want to make sure these is all four and a half, and you want to make sure that everything's flat. And I got, I got something I want to tell you here that's important. Even if you're not even using the VHF reflector. You want to make sure this is centered up. I'm talking about this way and the whiskers. You want to make sure that the reflector is outside of these whiskers a little bit. Now this is an antenna right here that I had made up. And I think what I was doing when I made this right here. I was showing you how to put, uh, screw this to the pole. And you can do it the way I got it. I just got, I just drilled some holes. And the screws don't even come all the way through. But they go into one side. This thing is very light. 
I got a video where I drove down the interstate, <laughs> and I, it's on YouTube right now, where I drove down the interstate, this thing about sticking up in the back of the truck about nine foot tall, driving 70 miles an hour. The wind just blows right through this right here. You try that with one of them big antennas. And one last thing I'm going to throw at you. The, the ultimate antenna is the strongest antenna I've ever seen. I didn't know that, but like just so many years of me putting them up, I didn't know it was as strong as it was when I first made it. But like just so many years of putting them up and bringing other people's antenna home, and I'm talking about them big as big as a truck. But anyway, I've tried them and compared them and all that. And it ain't just enough to me to make an antenna as good as the company makes. I don't see no reason to make one like it ain't, if it ain't no better than what you can buy already. I just don't see no reason to do it. But this is the strongest antenna you can buy, and I'll tell you what, this antenna's competition is signal-wise. Now, you know them big old antennas I was talking about, big as a, a truck, a small truck? That's what this antenna's competition is. They about neck and neck. Now, I promise you, I won't lie to you for money. Well, I don't lie, I ain't much about that anyway, but... Anyway, I got a buddy that's got one of them big old style crafts. And, uh, and anyway, he compared them. He's got the signal meter and all that, you know, like I use. And he compared them. And uh, they was about neck and neck. To be honest with you, he said I might he said I might have been getting him a little a little bit. Uh he he come and bought one of these from but anyway, he compared them. He said I may be getting him just a little bit. But you know what the thing about them big antennas is? Man, they'll blow down. You ride around your neighborhood. When you put them up, if one of them elements blow and get bent, that that antenna is out of phase. If it moves, like, you know, bent, like, it, it, it probably won't hurt if it's just being a little bit. But if it's blowing up, if it's bent over yonder hey it'll mess it up but it'll still pick up you you won't even know but one day you'll just be sitting there and realize hey my antenna ain't picking up as good as it used to be that's what i'm talking about we'll see y'all next time